and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as Four Kids at 147, and it's time for a little mini tip and trick number 47. And this one is in relation to an item that we sell, but it may be relevant to some other things that you do in diamond painting um, as well. But this is in relation to our spare storage stickers. So some of you may have seen the video I did on Saturday. I have started setting up a completely separate box for my square diamonds. Uh, and then I already have a box set up that used to house both my squares and my rounds. It now just holds my rounds and I'm doing separate boxes for my squares. So I've got the first box done in that process and as I say that video was up on Saturday. Um, but while I was doing that I did also give a mini tip and trick in relation to it. Now this is something that was mentioned on the group by somebody that was doing their own storage. Um, I actually can't remember who. It's been mentioned a few times now so I can't remember who to give the credit to um, but it's when working with the stickers so I've done some of the boxes I still have some sheets of full stickers and they are pre-cut stickers so you can just peel up the stickers and take them off however you can make the process just a little bit easier so if you get hold of the corner of the sticker sheet now, sometimes it is easier to actually take one sticker off and then grab hold of the sticker sheet from there. Um, but if you get hold of it and peel it back, so try to make sure that you don't let go so it doesn't land back on the sticker sheet. But peel it back so that you're taking off all of the sticker sheets and leaving all of the labels on there. And just keep pulling slowly but not major slow um, just to make sure that they all stay on and then this piece of sticker just let it all crumple up on itself and what you find then is it is a lot easier to pull up the stickers and to see you know where the corner of the stickers are when you don't have that background sheet and that will make your process of sticking your stickers onto your cardstock slightly quicker slightly quicker slightly easier and just a nice process all around um, I do have one here where I have taken out some of my stickers already so sometimes it can be easier to sort of grab it here and start pulling it off. Um, though I recommend, again, still doing that from the top. Because I'm doing that from the bottom, I'm, of course, ripping the sticker sheet because I'm not pulling it from one side. And that is just ripping up the sticker sheet instead. Whereas if you do it from one corner, Ideally, sort of fold it over on itself and then push the backing sheet out the way so that you just get hold of the sticker. And you may need to just pop out, I mean I say pop, just remind a couple of stickers that they need to stay on the sheet. I often find I only need to do it with the first couple and after that it's like the sticker sheet learns um, what it needs to do. And then apart from the part where I ripped it, the rest has all come off. And then you have a sticker sheet that is a lot more easy to manage um, and to pull the stickers off. <coughs> that goes in there. Try and make sure that I keep them in order. Uh, I do tend to do it as I go along primarily because there is a number on each sticker sheet. So number seven, eight, and then of course that one was nine. It can be handy to have that as a reference, especially if you're doing your stickers over a longer period of time. Um, you wouldn't want to drop all your stickers and then have to be looking at all the DMC numbers to figure out which way. So quite often what I've done in the process is just before I've started a new page, I've pulled off the outer sticker sheet and then I've done all of that one and then when I've finished I've pulled up the next one. These are of course now done ready for 
my next instalment of my spare storage and I'll get them all stuck onto my cardstock at that time. But yeah, hopefully this was helpful for some of you if you are revamping your spare storage. Um, it just makes that process just a little bit easier. You could also potentially use this if you have maybe a supplier that provides you with stickers for your diamond painting, uh, provides you with ones with the numbers and the symbol on, you might want to take some of that backing sheet off first, If especially if you're finding it hard to get hold of the little stickers, it might make it a little bit easier. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.